After a long slumber, Asura awakens on Gaia. 12,000 years have passed. The world he knew was no more, yet nothing had changed. The struggle between the humans and the Goma continued to rage. As Asura witnesses the Goma attack a village, a familiar face appears. Hello everyone, this is Rob, and welcome back to Asura's Wrath. And, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna keep fighting. I think I sorted out most of my technical issues. <laughs> for, for at least a couple more episodes, anyway. So, 12,000 years. He had been unconscious and clinging to a pillar for 12,000 years. That is impressive. Oh, he's not going to draw attention to himself like that. Not even a little bit. Oh, does it just give credits for the beginning of every episode? Is that how it works? Interesting. So the villagers are praying to the wreckage of one of their ships. I guess. Uh-oh. No idea what anyone's saying. I mean, I can kind of pick it up, but... <laughs> I like how they're all scrambling for their lives and nobody really notices the other guy just kind of hanging out. Uh oh. Oh. That lot of good those walls did. And now we fight. Okay. Time for a throwdown. Got no reason to lock onto my targets yet. Eh, I'm just gonna keep punching. Oh, I see. It's uh, his overheating is taking a bit longer to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. It's taking longer for him to cool down from an overheat. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna try and finish someone off. Oh well. I'm assuming it's taking him longer to heal down, to cool down from an overheat because he's all beat up and mangled and his arms aren't looking that good, actually. Hmm. Now we're gonna have to deal with these jerks. Guess we are. He has a robot version of himself now. Back from the dead, impure demigod Aphoron. We shall send you back to the shadows of death, along with the Gomon. No, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, dude. guy that I can... Ah. 
a little too quick on the draw there. Well, apparently the demigod still got it. I love how this ship has a giant face on it. So ridiculous. Okay. What do we got? All ships prepare. God, those for things are creepy. Santa Claus? Purify. All ships release. Fire. Fire. Oh. That's not cool. Do they not care about the civilians? What a lucky turn to find the traitor here. Well, here we go. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I am not going to get tired of this. Oh, it bounces off of him. Haha, <laughs> miss me. Nope. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, we're just going to keep smacking the crap out of this guy. I'm uncomfortable with where I'm punching him, though. Aw. Thought I hit the button to, to counter, but it didn't come up. Nope. Come on. Aha! <laughs> oh, what the heck. Let's do it. Eh, he's not done. Oh. Okay, now he's done. <laughs> he just got et. Uh oh. It's draining the life essences of the people, I guess. Still dig that guy's beard. And he decided to take the life essences instead. What a jerk. That's a really big elephant, though. Wow. No soul shall fall into the hands of the coma. That's a mess. All right, we're going to fight this what guy now, is that it? What you spoke of was true. It has been a while, traitor. <laughs> 12,000 years and his beard is still magnificent. Oh, commercial break, okay. Okay. Just said that. It has been a while. Yeah, seriously, you just said that. You would be foolish enough to come back. Who are you? Oh, you don't remember? How could you forget that beard? Do not tell me you have forgotten everything. It's a little weird that they make you play through the context, like, tutorial stuff in the beginning and then oh I forgot everything and then he still has to piece it together but it's all stuff that you already know it's just like it's weird you get all the information beforehand then he loses it and then he has to piece it back together and it gives you the information again and it's like couldn't they have just started from I mean, I don't know. I'll let him talk for a little bit longer. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> How pitiful. Your ears have 
become so sullied that you cannot even comprehend words of purity. Feel my wrath! Oh, you don't know anything about wrath, dude. Yeah, we're just going to avoid that. Nope. Not going to happen. <laughs> and zappy zap. Oh. What's he doing? What's he doing? I like that that still happens. Back again. So deliciously over the top. <laughs> We're just gonna keep rolling. Keep it going. And burst. There we go. Timed it right that time. Bye. He'll be back. He'll be back soon, probably. <coughs> oh, yep. I think he's back already. <laughs> he, uh, he got big. Oh, is this the guy from the tutorial? That gets like planet sized. Maybe he's not, I don't know. Oh, speechless. Are you? While you had slumbered for 12,000 years. No, no, I don't think it's the guy from the tutorial. You know, there are like a bunch of innocent civilians in the village right behind you, correct? Bestowed upon us by our priestess. Your very daughter, Mithra! And flashback. You're gonna have a flashback that interrupts the fight. Mithra's power. Or is he gonna. Is he gonna remember that he has four more arms? Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> and that's where they end it. How mean. Well, you know, I think that's where I'm going to end it too. So thank you. <laughs> that's score. So thank you everybody for watching. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob. And Asura and I will catch you next time.